getting ready to um, call my manager. So we have a really good like relationship, so I'd rather like say it to him before like he just see it in the email. And he's been really helpful and patient with me throughout everything I've been going through. And um, a job is a job, but at the end of the day, like he's still a person, you know? And I don't want him to feel like, well, it don't matter, but it, it do matter to me. It's just how I am, but I don't want him to feel like um, I don't appreciate what he did because there may come someone after me who really need him to have some grace and kindness and understanding and I don't want to mess it up for them. This is really happening. <laughs> this is really happening, guys. Okay, so I was editing this video and I realized how rough I was looking and I was really going to do it. So I just wanted to hop on real fast and say, I know I look a little crusty, my skin was going crazy, psoriasis and all that, but I'm good now. I'm good. I do have more to tell you guys about the experience, so keep watching. Make sure you guys take this moment to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Let's get back into the video. Hey, Keith. What's up, Jayesha? How you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing, yeah. yeah I I'm just so wanted. Sorry, I missed a call from you. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I just wanted to call you before I sent an email, but um, I wanted to put in a notice for resignation, or to resign. Oh. oh man. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so this is day one of four, my last four days on the clock. And today's goal is to look at my finances again as a whole. Look at all my speeding tickets, all my unresolved bills from the old apartment. Look at what I'm gonna be needing as far as my student loans, car note, insurance, all of that for the next three months. I had a conversation with my mom and she was telling me about quarters. So. I need to really have a realistic number of how much I need to make per quarter so I can know how hard I need to go without um, getting burnt out. Y'all, I didn't even get a chance to vlog yesterday. Yesterday was the second to last day. And look at my lashes, guys. I haven't had time to do anything. I didn't tell you guys, today is my last day on the clock because I'm going to New York. My aunt is having her business anniversary. So I'm trying to get myself together. I still did not pack. Look at the room, guys. They're doing carpet renovations and I'm trying to do laundry to pack. And look at this, look at this. I got a fight with this guy. We are on our way to the airport and I just clocked out for the last time. I just feel amazing, excited, ambitious, and I feel like this is a great little getaway for a fresh new start. And I'm pretty sure I'll learn a lot from this trip as well. So I am so excited. But I'm exhausted, so I'm about to take it out. I'm about to take it out. Okay, guys, so since I recorded this video, so much has happened, and I took a couple notes so that I can be very intentional and straight to the point. First of all, 
I booked my first client at my new price point, which is like amaze balls. Now I did list a few things that I wish I knew before I quit my nine to five to become a full-time photographer. And the first thing that I wish I knew was that all of the little wins get honored and celebrated like a big win because these little wins get you to the big wins. And when you get to the big wins, what you gonna do? Celebrate. So be grateful for every little win that leads up to the big ones. The second thing that I wish I knew was that I am good enough. I'm better than good enough. And also, you can't rush the food. You cannot rush the food. I got that from my little cousin, Destiny. Shout out to my little cousin, Destiny, my emotional support person. I love her so much. But she told me, cousin, like you cannot rush the food. It will only burn. And the light bulb went off in my head, like, oh my gosh, cousin, like good food, take good time. Like, I'm a whole meal. <laughs> First thing that I did when I quit my job was I um, signed up for my Roth, R Ooh, Roth IRA, which is um, like a 401k and also life insurance because I have three whole kids out here. Anything was to ever happen to me, God forbid. Um, I have three whole kids to make sure it's well taken care of. Another thing that I would, um, another thing that I would do again was invest in my skills, invest in my business, and um, invest in myself. If you guys haven't noticed, I've been keeping up with myself, getting my nails done, keeping my hair fresh. You know what I'm saying? Because when you look good, you feel good, you do good, you are good. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, when I quit, I invested in my business. I enrolled in some business courses. It's a six month, uh, what the hell? A six month course. I'm rushing because I gotta go get the kids. But I invested in a six month course and I invested in a workshop, a workshop to improve my skills, as well as I got me a marketing coach. Be scared, be afraid, be very afraid. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, she's ready, she is ready. Also, I took notes on things that I would do differently. First thing, nothing. I wouldn't do anything differently. Everything happened exactly how it was supposed to, and I am exactly where I'm supposed to be, and I only grow better, just like wine with time. Guys, I'm on a different level right now. I don't know what's going on, but let's go. And before I bring you back to the rest of this vlog, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Comment down below. I'm still trying to find my vlog style. I know a lot of people are coming up to me like, where are we getting another vlog? And these are the same people who um, are enjoying these vloggity vlogs, like lifestyle day in my life vlogs. So I can keep that going, like <laughs> it is what it is. But if you wanna see anything different or anything more, let me know in the comments down below. I will start doing subscriber shout outs. So if you are subscribed and you leave a comment below, I'll give you a little shout out at the beginning of my next video. Yep, I think I got it all. Thank you guys, back to your video.
Hold up, y'all, my best friend. Hey, best friend. I haven't been answering your phone because I'm trying to record a vlog. Can I call you right back? I did not get your text message. I was preparing for the vlog. Okay, I'm almost done. Damn, bitch, you say bye.